Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to wash the Willow Go so that you can make sure that you keep your pump in good order. The first thing you want to do is you want to collect all your supplies for it. So I've got a clean basin because we don't want to put our pump parts in the sink because of cross-contamination. I've got my thing of Dawn Power Wash. I've got the Dapple and I've got the regular scrub brush and the detail brush. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the Willow Go. We've emptied out the milk container. And you're going to use these two side clips to release your milk container. So the flange popped off first. So you're going to take your insert out, put your flange in. You want to be very careful with this piece right here, which is your hub. Um, when you're taking it apart, if you're being absent-minded and not paying attention, you could end up accidentally washing your hub, which would be bad. So you're going to put your hub to the side. So this is the diaphragm. This is what actually helps generate some of the suction. This piece is the same material that the duckbill is made out of. It's also very similar to what the LV original pieces are made out of and the LV stride. What that means is that we know that this is going to be a place that it could collect milk fat if we're not really careful. So what we do, take your Dawn Power Wash, spray it down, put it in there to soak. And you're gonna take your milk container apart, your plastic piece is good, you've got your duck bill valve. That's the back of the container. And again, just spray this down and let it sit there for a couple minutes. And then you're gonna do the second one, exact same way. So this one, the milk container came off first. So again, pull this out, get your duck bill valve, spray that down. Disconnect your flange and your insert. You don't want to wash the flanges with inserts in place. Um, I have seen people do that. It doesn't end well for stuff that grows on your pump. So again, you're going to pull the diaphragm out, put your hub to the side, spray the diaphragm down. Okay, next we're going to fill this with hot soapy water and let it soak for about 10 to 15 minutes with a good squirt of dapple. Um, I'm not going to make you watch that, but I will come back when it's time to scrub. Okay, so this has been soaking for about 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do, part of the reason I love this wash basin, put this down, got the little colander inside so I don't have to put my hands in the soapy, milky water. So we just pull this out. I'm gonna set this down in the sink. I'm gonna rinse this part out so I have a clean place to put the clean pump part on the way to transporting them either to get them dried or to put them in the sterilizer. Okay, so that is dry enough for our purposes. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your scrub brush, put a good pump of this soap. One of my favorite features of this pump is this is so easy to clean. So scrub, rinse. For this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to really want to get down into these grooves just in case any milk got in there. Human milk is incredibly sticky. Uh, if you've ever washed a pan that's had animal fat on it, you will find that, you know, the fat likes to stick to the pan and be kind of greasy. Human milk is just like that because it is animal fat. So we're going to put that over there now that that's clean. This piece is pretty easy. Just going to toss that around in there. As you can see, I haven't even needed the little detail brush yet, which is really nice. Um, so when it comes to the duck bill, what you're going to do, you're going to use your big scrub brush to get there. And then you're going to use your little scrub brush to get in here. Because if your duck bill has any buildup, it won't stay seated on your flange, which means it won't end. You'll lose suction. And then for the flange, it's nice and easy to get in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna repeat that for the other side. And that is how you keep your pump clean. It's up to you whether you're gonna be sterilizing your parts after you get done washing them. That is really a decision for you to make in context of a discussion with your pediatrician about your baby's health. Um, if you're not going to be sterilizing them, then what you want to do is you want to put them out to air dry or dry them very well before putting them in a sealed container away from dirt. 
And if you are putting them in a sterilizer, you do just want to use caution as many of the steam sterilizers could potentially warp the parts. It is considered dishwasher safe. However, it will provide, you know, earlier wear on your parts, which is going to mean you have to replace them more often.